Hey guys, it's me, Mari Borms, and I am back with another video. You are a former actor, so today is Monday, June 10th, and it's currently 6.50 p.m. You guys know whenever I'm making a video in the afternoon, that means I don't have work. I don't have work. Which is good because last week I worked um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then I was off Thursday, then I worked Friday, off Saturday, worked yesterday, and now I'm off today. I thought I was going to have to work today, but then I do have to work like the rest of the week. And so, yeah, but you guys can see September over here. I didn't even show you guys. Were you guys seen them like a glimpse of it in my last couple of videos? But you guys probably seen a glimpse of it in my last couple of videos. But I got uh, these two Mamaroos back in, I want to say like February or March. Um, that one is the Rocket Roo. This one is the Mamaroo. So I have charm in our bouncer room that i have had for years now and then i have joycey in the rocker room and then i have september in the mama room and she's gonna get an outfit change because she's in winter clothes um oops <laughs> charm is gonna get an outfit change and that's it for now but I know Joycey and probably Honey will get off the change. I'll probably do a video of, with all the babies that I have for sale and change them out of their outfits. But that is probably going to be a little bit later when I am in the mood. I'm in the mood to make a video now, which is why I'm making one. But theirs is going to have to wait. So next is either Charm or September um, to get an outfit change. We're going to change Solana today out of her birthday outfit because she had this outfit on since april it is june so about two months she's had this outfit on and her hair is still looking as cute and good as ever this was her birthday hairstyle did i show you guys her hair if you follow me on instagram then you've seen how her hair turned out but i did something simple for her hair look at that that's so cute and in the front all slick down and she looks so cute and this is her little chair that i got for her so that she can have her own little space. I want to get like one of those pull out. It was like a chair, but it's like you could pull it out and make it into a couch. I had got one for my little cousin a long time ago back when I lived at home at Kmart when we had Kmart before they closed that down. So that was quite a while ago, but that was like a really cool um, innovation. And so I wanted that, but then I just found this and I got this for a really good price on Timu. Um, I did a haul so you guys can check that out and see everything else I got as well as use my code to get some money off but um anyways this is what I'm going to be changing her into this is Carter size nine months but she's petite so I'm pretty sure this will fit her it just might be a little short at the bottom but this is a really cute romper it's this really pretty pink color and it has white flowers and then these three fake wooden buttons well I guess it's not really wooden but kind of looks like it'll be wooden and then she has her clear jelly sandals on and i think i might leave these on her just for the simple fact that they match her outfit more i don't have any white shoes for her so i'll definitely have to get her some shoes for this summer uh white shoes white sandals that good jazz okay i had to move that car out the way because it was going to bother me if i didn't all right so let's go ahead and change her and i do have a topic for today's video that i thought of when i was picking out an outfit so what's funny is she wasn't going to get changed it was either going to be september charm but then it came down to whatever cute outfit i seen first comes first so i found these really cute shorts and it was gonna fit september so that means september was gonna get changed but it has a matching onesie i couldn't find a onesie so then i started looking at the boy stuff for charm and i found an outfit and i was like oh this is really really cute on him and it'll bring out his complexion and i ended up not wanting it on him right now i don't know and then i ended up looking in her section and found this and like okay we'll just change solana and then another factor that helps me figure out who to change is i go on my youtube channel and i see what baby hasn't got changed the longest and then i go by that so technically it was charm 
that hasn't got changed the longest out of these three and then september was most recent and then solana was in the middle but i also wanted to take this off of solana because um i didn't want that to like stay on her for too long because i want her little dance pop because it is even though it isn't white on the inside and it is tie-dye so i'm pretty sure this has went through the washer and dryer multiple times hand washed all that good stuff i still am really iffy about different items on the babies i don't want them to get stained or anything like that so and she had that on for a long long time now anyways about time i talk about my topic and not just get to rambling like i always do so my topic for today's video is boredom in the reborn community so as of lately i've been finding myself being really really bored with the dows being bored within the community so i'm just sharing some things that i do to help myself stay excited and wanting more out of the community and basically not getting bored with it so i'm just sharing those things with you guys just in case if anyone is going through that right now i know i always see post on um facebook about how they don't know what to do with the dows anymore they're selling their whole collection they're bored they don't want to have the dows so i'm just going to share what i do to make sure i stay active and keep myself in the community so number one if i feel a burnout i don't force myself into the community i just let it happen and you know it goes away naturally but some ways to help it go away for me her arm on this side is like loose i don't really want to mess with it though but some ways that help me really stay in the community and like not be bored of it is definitely being engaged that definitely does help you know in ways to stay engaged is definitely watching YouTube videos. That is like key. But I am super busy and I know a lot of you guys are super busy as well. So you can watch YouTube videos, especially if they're really, really long. Um, so yes, YouTube videos is definitely does help me stay in the hobby and community and wanting to not sell my babies because i go through this phase sorry if i'm blocking the camera when i change it but I, I go through this phase where i'm like i'm about to sell every baby except for four <laughs> i go through that i don't know why i know i can't be the only one though but yes watching the videos help me like say oh you know what i need to stay <laughs> but again i am extremely busy so sometimes i can't do that so another thing is joining a few facebook groups and you don't have to post you know, I definitely don't post because sometimes it can get a little wild. But joining a few Facebook groups, I'm really in like four, no more than that. I will probably not even be able to handle more than four groups with some of those people. But um, the seeing, joining the Facebook groups is a good way because, first of all, seeing everyone's babies, how they photograph them, or if they're just painted so beautifully, it's like, you know what? I want to change my baby and I want to take photos of my baby too. And then so it gets you more engaged and just seeing everyone else share their love for the Dows really just makes me happy. And then it's like, how could I ever sell these babies or even think about it? You start feeling guilty, but no, seriously. Um, I feel like when you see others share their babies and the love that they have for the community and the hobby, it really just sparks something in you and you're like, you know what? I love this community and hobby too. Same with Instagram, but the only thing with Instagram is you choose who to follow. And so if you don't follow a lot of people, you won't really see a lot of that. Plus, I have been super behind on looking at my Instagram feed. The only thing I can get to is Instagram stories and sometimes not even that. But yeah, seeing that definitely does help. That's why I say the both of those help, obviously, social media. But that's why I say um, the Facebook group because anyone can post. And sometimes there's thousands of members. So it's not just the 200 people you follow on Instagram. We're going to put her shoes back on her. Another thing that really keeps me going 
and trying to not get bored is looking at all of the new kits and scopes coming out it's so exciting because it's like i really love that one i can't wait to add it into my collection and you get to start thinking about it and even like daydreaming about you adding that kit or scope into your collection and the way you'll have it painted and customized for yourself and so that's really really exciting like when pickle first the clay versions of pickle first came out sometime like last year and i was like oh my gosh and i just started like thinking of like how i wanted my pickle to look and so that really was like a lot of fun however i have not seen a lot of kits come out recently that i've been like so in love with but still, it's still nice to daydream about new kits coming out and how you will customize it and things of that nature. But yeah, those things really, really keep me having fun. And then, of course, when I'm finally out of like that slump, I come down here with my babies and I look at them. I hold them. If I'm really feeling it, I'll bring the baby upstairs with me and leave them in my room with me. And then... Of course, that's when I feel a lot better, and I do a video for you guys, and I change your baby. I haven't been down in this room in a long time, but I do still love all of my babies, and she just looks so cute in this outfit. Like, look at her. Let me see if I can bake you guys up. So cute. Miss Solana, aka Bubbles. She looks so adorable. Um, oh, and my most thing that keeps me not bored is looking at the babies for sale, okay? Even if I am not looking for a baby or like actively looking for a baby, I will look at those babies for sale. Like my life depends on it. And every time I see like a cute baby up for sale, I'm like, oh my gosh. Should I get it? Should I not get it? Especially if it's a really, really good deal. Like, I just seen a really good deal on um, Facebook in one of the groups of a baby for sale. And I'm like, I'm not even looking for this scope. I don't even like this size of a baby because it was a preemie. Why do I want to buy it? Just because it's a good price. I have that really bad. Like, a long time ago. Well, it wasn't really a long time ago. It was like 2019, 2020. If the baby was a good price, no matter how it looked, I would, I would get it. <laughs> I would get it. And that has cost me because then when I'm trying to sell it, because I, when I'm trying to sell it two weeks later because I don't buy them with it because I believe you just got it based, based off the price. And it sits and sits and sits. I'm like, why did I get this baby? Why? Why? And so I don't really regret it, but then I'm kind of just like, you you gotta make a little smarter decisions. But yes, looking at um looking at all the beautiful babies for sale definitely keeps me going and it definitely makes me wanna stay in this hobby be and especially if I am expecting a new baby. That is probably the most exciting thing ever. Like when I was expecting Missy, I did keep forgetting about Missy over the last few months that Missy was painted and getting rooted, but just checking in with the artists and getting like update photos that really really made me happy um but yes expecting a new baby is is the best part about the community expecting a new baby as well as opening up the baby that is like the happiest ever for the <laughs> i'm not even making sense right now but i'm so happy every time i expect a new baby and i open the baby up i'm just always so 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 happy and then after like a few days, the baby, the baby high calms down. Um, surprisingly for Missy, I didn't actually, I usually had that with all of my babies. Except for the ones that like I like impulse buy. But like for Missy, I didn't really have that for Missy just because I had to put Missy together myself. Which I knew about. I bought Missy as a kit painting. But yeah, once I put Missy together, I couldn't stop putting him down though. So I will say that. So it's not like I was just like, oh, okay, bye. No. Once Missy got put together, Missy was on my hip. I brought him upstairs to my room. He spent a few days in there. Then he came back down with the other babies. So, yeah. Anyways, that is pretty much it for today's video. I rambled enough, don't you guys think? Um, 
as always if you guys have any video requests comment them down below i want to do a routine video haven't been in a mood for it and i also haven't had any time for it i would say on my next day off i will record one but then i'll be telling a story because usually i'm not doing anything on my days off so uh, eh, scratch that i actually am but this time, like today, I'm not doing anything. But this is the first time I haven't done anything on my day off in months. But this week, when I do have my second day off, I am actually doing something. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to record a um, video for you all. Or like a routine video. However, what you guys can do is comment down below what baby you guys want to see a routine with. And if you guys want to add a little bit more to it, let me know what routine video you want to see like for example can i get a morning routine video with eilina can i get a night routine video with your new reborn baby missy that is an example go ahead and let me know that in the comments and you never know i might just do it <laughs> all right if you that's that's it i rambled enough and she's been dressed for a long time looking as cute as ever so if you guys want to go ahead and follow us on Instagram, you guys can do so. My Instagram is mine, it's Corey Borns. And if you guys like this video, get a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys want to comment, subscribe, video request, remember to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, ring that bell so you guys can always be notified when I post another video. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.